there's nothing to prepare you for Vietnam or for combat. It is something that um, you just uh, bite down on a bullet and deal with it. We were on 50% alert all evening. And they didn't hit us, but we had movement. And it was about, it was seven o'clock, a little bit before. We all breathed a sigh of relief because we hadn't been hit. And at like 7.05, we got hit. So they caught us completely, oh, surprise, um, when we least expected it. Um, I was an M60 machine gunner, which was a... Um, Let's call that a lead magnet. Um, I was just behind and beside a large um, um, hardwood tree, about um, 16, 18 inches in diameter. And there was four other guys lined up beside me in different positions. And... Um, Within the first five minutes, they took me out with a um, a rocket. And it was an armor propelled rocket. And they shot it into the tree. And <clears throat> it took out all of us. And I had a friend of mine who was behind the tree. It blew his eardrums out and knocked him backwards. Um, I got shrapnel in the face. I got it in the uh, shoulder. I got some on the back. Um, afterwards, we weren't able to get dust off, so right. Um, so we had to um, bear with it, and I um, I was going to have an M16, and I still pulled uh, guard duty and perimeter guard. Um, what I did notice after it was all over a couple of days later, and the reason I knew it was an armor piercing round, was the fins, okay, and the skeleton of the my rocket was still in the tree, and it blew a perfect clean hole all the way through that a hardwood tree. I'm very proud of it. Um, on the other side of the issue, it was just a matter of, um, I was in the wrong place at the wrong time between my Purple Heart and my Combat Infantry badge. I wear them proudly all the time. I came home from Vietnam. Um, it was a time when <clears throat> we were insulted. Um, some of us were spit on. It was, um, we're drug addicted baby killers, basically was the label we had. And, um, <clears throat> It was not a popular thing to be as a Vietnam veteran. So for at least 15 years, I went underground. And what I mean by that is, um, what did you do between 68 and 70? I was self-employed when I was. I was in the Army. But, okay, if you were interested in getting a job, you wanted to put your best foot forward. So you didn't mention the service. I didn't think I changed, but everybody else did. That was my opinion. And um, I couldn't wrap my mind around the fact that there was something wrong with me. Um, and I'm referring to PTSD. Um, no, I don't have a problem. Um, everybody's looking at me differently. When it was actually the other way around.